let us also understand the t format of a trading account in the form of an equation gross profit is nothing but sales minus the cost of goods sold sales minus cost of goods sold and what is the cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold is 5000 opening stock purchases 30000 direct cost of 2000 less the closing stock cost of goods sold is opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock In rearranging the same, we can say that closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus the cost of goods sold. These equations are extremely handy in viewing, in solving, computing several of the problems which come with the valuation of inventories which are associated with this topic. Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases plus direct expense minus closing stock. We need to memorize this very, very thoroughly. Other equations can be worked out with this. Basically, we know gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of goods sold. Mind you, it is cost of goods sold. If I break this up, opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses is actually the cost of goods available for sale. These goods were available for sale, but we were not able to sell them and therefore we have a closing stock. So cost of goods available for sale less closing stock gives us the cost of goods sold. Please remember I repeat cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock. Cost of goods available for sale minus closing stock is our cost of goods sold. Let us work this exercise out to test our understanding of the equation. Cost of goods sold 35,000. Closing stock as on 31st March 8,000. Opening stock 10,000. Purchase return 5000. What would be the amount of gross purchases for the year ended 31st March? Rupees 33,000, 38,000, 28,000, or 37,000. Let us start with the basic equation. Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases. Since there are no direct costs, I am ignoring direct costs. Minus closing stock. Cost of goods sold is given to us as 35,000. Opening stock is given to us as 10,000. Purchases is what we need to find out and closing stock has been given to us as 8,000. So rewriting the equation, I can say purchases and I will call this net purchases. Net purchases be purchases less purchase return. So net purchases is going to be cost of goods sold minus opening stock plus closing stock. Therefore, net purchases is equal to cost of goods sold is 35,000 
minus opening stock of 10,000 plus closing stock of 8,000. That is equal to 33,000. So net purchases is 33,000 but our question asks for the amount of gross purchases. So what would be the gross purchases? Gross purchases would be net purchases plus purchase return. That is equal to 33,000 plus 5,000 equal to 38,000. Therefore, our answer should be B. Option B, 38,000.